in this episode, we are going to talk about the general context and government response to COVID-19 crisis in Colombia. Well, initially, the government implemented a series of containment measures to mitigate the spread of the disease, including a national lockdown, the suspension of all national air travels, the closure of all borders, mandatory social distance, and the suspension of all in-person classes. The government has not allowed local authorities to impose their own restrictions due to the rate of infection in the area. As we know, the World Health Organization reported on June 3 of 2020 that Latin America was the new epicentric of the pandemic. So the pandemic continues to have a deep impact on existing Jordan disparities. For example, the government's measures have aggravated women's economic inequality and women complain that the national government has not taken effective measures to address their specific needs and demand a basic income of female headed households since they are the most affected by the effects of the pandemic. So moreover, the lockdown measures have exacerbated the risks of gender-based violence. The volume of calls to Linea Purpura headline in the capital, Colombia, during the period March-September 2020 increased by 200%. And a global network of women peace builders partner observed that the large volume of reports slowed down the response of the police and prosecutor's office. They noted that there have been cases in which women are not able to get through the headline or were hung up on. So also, the government measures taken to contain the spread of COVID-19 have had a significant impact on other vulnerable, vulnerable populations and women from those vulnerable populations, including indigenous communities, internally displaced persons, Venezuelan refugees, and migrants. In June 2020, OCHA reported that 45% of displaced people in Colombia and indigenous population are facing food insecurity. And furthermore, indigenous population in Colombia's Amazon region have little access to health services and safe drinking water supply systems. So they are forced to travel several days to receive medical attention. So in rural areas and poor communities, particularly Afro-Colombian and indigenous communities and women from those communities, um, the risks of the disease are amplified due to the limited medical and service infrastructure. Another topic that we're going to talk, uh, well, we, it's the emergency humanitarian crisis in Colombia due to the violence against women during the COVID-19 pandemic. The violence against women in 2020 has increased during the lockout from the COVID-19 pandemic. It is appropriate to declare the, human the humanitarian crisis of emergency in Colombia due to the violence against women during this, during this pandemic. We review systematic search in databases. Uh, the violence against women, it is contingency has had consequences from the social and family, uh, well, from social and family. As we know, women's most of the time, they are likely under these circumstances. This affects, this affects the psychological, and then, uh, well, we get more visibility of the increase of anxiety and depression, the feeling of guilty and suicides. In the pandemic context, the Colombian government has issues regulation that seek their enforce obligations incorporate into the national legal system. However, structural barriers and gender gaps continue to, to hinder Colombian women's free access to the justice. It prevents the full guarantee of their human rights violence. And well, the violence against women in Colombia in 2020 figures as as a humanitarian crisis due to its inadequate attention and the growing number of cases. Mental health has been negatively impacted and has actually been the most reported form of 
violence since the pandemic has caused people to remain at home. Psychological violence makes up 48% of reports in Bogota, Colombia, with physical violence following at 25%. Furthermore, women have more opportunities to experience this abuse rather than seek help because of the need to stay at home due to the pandemic. An increase in time spent indoors increases contact with their abusers and decreases the opportunities for intervention from different social organizations or help from medical services and other healthcare related institutions. Furthermore, with less people to witness and report crimes, women are also in danger when they leave their homes. Less activity in public increases chances of crimes happening outside of the home as well negatively affecting the health and well-being of women, regardless of where they are. A solution to violence against women came in the form of Decree 460 of 2020, which was passed by Colombia's national government in March of 2020. Although this is seen as a step towards progress, it does not acknowledge how some places throughout Colombia do not implement this decree and not all violence against women happen within the family itself. People should not only focus on domestic violence against women during the pandemic, but also realize that violence against women does out happen outside of the family in public spaces as well, sometimes by the authorities. So many organizations are trying to call the local government to broaden their lens and take more steps to bettering the health and well being for their woman. And on the next episode of the series, we will talk about the situation in, and the solutions in Egypt.